Hello everyone. So I'm sitting here in Cubase and I'm working with video a lot. And as you can see, my video is not um, with the proper time code as uh, or my uh, Cubase doesn't have the proper time code to the video. And I want to show you a smart way to get them aligned. Uh, and that will be with Soundflow. Let me just do that command what it does there you see that's what it did now we are at one hour and Cubase is at zero hour but the reason why I work like that is because when I press stop like it when I press stop it will jump back to zero which I like um, and it wouldn't do that if it was at one hour so Let's just rewind. Let's put the wrong time code here and see what I would have to do if I didn't have Soundflow. Uh, so I'm disabling Soundflow up here and then I will press the key command, the same key command that I just used. What I get is set time code at cursor. This is great. Uh, I could tap my way up here, but I actually can't get to these letters. So I have to click here with the mouse. Oh, these numbers and then I press 0 a lot of times I press OK twice and then I have to make sure that I'm pressing the right menu yes I want to change the time code no I don't want my things to be sh shifted around and there so so a couple of actions and a little bit of uh, brain work needs to be done to get that aligned uh, and you saw Soundflow did all that for me let me enable Soundflow again. Um, I just put the... There you see. Oh, they are not aligned. Let me go to where it's at zero in the video. Do this thing again. So that's really fast and smart. And I can do that without thinking. And let's just look into Soundflow, what it does. It checks that Cubase is the front window, or it will activate Cubase as the front window. Then it will go to the Cubase menu, which is project uh, set time code at cursor. And then it will click that element. And then after that, it will click uh, relatively um, in that in the window with that title. It will click where I need to click, and then it will write in the text and do all the actions that's need to be taken. So let's just see once again. There I set the time code. Um, and obviously you could put in another time code here. You could make different time codes. You could make like if you wanted uh, to have a key command to set the time code at one hour and 15 minutes at this point you could have that and it would just be uh, a keystroke away without thinking. That's smart for me.